He's a former member of the Planning Commission, Mr. Karit Parikh. Sir, welcome to Do the News. Sir, you, do, do you favor a one-time increase in diesel prices, like 4 rupees or like 5 rupees in one go? Yeah, I do favor that, you know, increase the diesel price by 5 rupees and then give, uh, at the same time, liberalize diesel price by giving a fixed subsidy of, say, 8 rupees per liter and then <coughs> let the price be adjusted and set by oil marketing companies as and when the international prices change. Mm -hmm. And over time, the government can gradually reduce the subsidy to from 8 rupees to 7 to 6 and so on. That they can do. But they should not really have the, the uh, have to interfere every time in setting the price. Because we don't know uh, one month later what will be the government's uh, ability to raise even price by 50 paisa. And that uncertainty should be removed. So recently the diesel prices were hiked by 50 paise. Uh, what impact will it have in saving the OMCs, the oil marketing companies? No, 50 paisa is a small amount. It would just not have much of an impact. It certainly, you know, you are having 60 million tons of d diesel is being used in the country. Uh, so you can have, say, 60 million tons would be almost uh, 60 billion liters. And 60 billion liters, and if you say half a paisa is there, mm -hmm. then you have to something like 30 billion rupees would be saved. Mm -hmm. So my next question is on the coal. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to hear that uh, India has the largest coal reserves in the world, but uh, we still uh, import a huge amount of uh, coal. So there's a dichotomy. This is simply because uh, Coal India uh, has a monopoly. The coal is nationalized. Private sector cannot get into it. And I think this has been, uh, uh, Coal India has not been able to produce. And I don't blame the management of Coal India. You know, uh, public sector corporations have often very clever and very competent managers. So India imports huge amount of coal. We're the largest importer of oil in the world. Uh, and this has effectively increased our current account deficit, our trade deficit. The government is trying to reduce uh, the dependence on oil. What are any innovative ways by which India can go to an other alternative measures of fuels like solar? No, but that will take time. You see, solar doesn't cuss, uh, doesn't drive your car. Mm -hmm. Solar can generate electricity, and you can have electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. But that is not been really. Uh, it will take its own time. It will take a huge, uh, a quite significant amount of time. So, my last question. Uh, it seems that India is uh, on the road to become, I mean, a strong welfare state. Uh, is it good? Being a welfare uh, state is not uh, not a bad thing. It is something we should really all want to do. It. The question is how do we do it in a more efficient way mm -hmm. so that it has it gives people the right incentives, it doesn't distort the economy and yet protects people. Okay, thank you so right. much. So that was Kirit Parikh talking exclusively to Doordarshan News on various topics from subsidy to uh, that the oil prices should be increased in the country. Sidhan Sibyl with camera person Fazil for DG News.